Greetings, I'm Dr. Starita Boyce Ansari. One of my favorite careers has been at the American Bible Society, where I awarded grants to faith-based organizations. And one day I got a call from a woman who wanted me to visit a child who was in prison. This young man had, had murdered his sibling. But the reason why he did that is that his mother was having ch child after child after child. And he was not able to go to school and he wanted to go to school. So when she brought home baby number eight, while he was bathing that child, he drowned the child. And the judge sentenced him to life. And he wanted to learn how to read and we brought the Bible to him to teach him how to read. As I started traveling across the United States and I'm meeting with children who are incarcerated at a young age, I'm learning that the reason why they have been incarcerated is because no one took the time to make certain that they knew how to read. I asked for funding to create a literacy program and was not able to get that funding. I spoke to many people in the Democratic Party. And one day, I had the opportunity to sit next to Barbara Bush at a dinner at Lincoln Center. I introduced myself to her, and I told her some of the stories. And then she recommended that I tell the stories of these young people to a friend of hers. Her friend's nickname was Butterfly, and I told Butterfly the stories. And Butterfly said that she would support the work that I was doing and that she was going to award us a gift of $2.5 million. And I waited until my work was done. And I was one of the few blacks at the American Bible Society. Two white men decided that they were going to visit Butterfly to get the $2.5 million. And she refused to give the check to them. And I didn't know they, sh they had visited her. And I was on business at a historically black college that day, and they had been calling me. So I finally picked up the phone after my meeting at the HBCU, and they wanted to know why I didn't pick up. And I told them I had a meeting. Butterfly wanted to speak to me. And after Butterfly spoke to me, she wrote the check for the $2.5 million. And that meant a lot to me. It was a message that I am doing the work and that a work of a black woman is valuable. And those two white men did not take the credit for the work that I have been doing. And I thank Barbara Bush for connecting us and her commitment to kids who are incarcerated.